We all are aware of the theory of ten avatars of Lord Vishnu. What most of us fail to notice is a depiction of evolution of life form of on earth through this dust avatar theory. One of the best examples of evolution is the ten avatars of Lord Vishnu. This theory of avatars is specified in Rig Veda, the first sculpture known to humankind. This theory closely syncs with Darwin's theory of evolution, discovered by Charles Darwin, a theory widely followed by Western system of education. Initially, organisms originated in the sea. There were only aquatic creatures. This is revealed in Rig Veda with the Matsya avatar or the form of a fist. Vishnu's first avatar on earth was in the form of fist at the beginning of Satya Yuga. Darwin says the first class of vertebrates evolved in water in the form of feces in the Silurian period. Then came the organism that could survive both in land and sea. Karma avatar or giant turtle is a representation of this phase of evolution. This depiction also mentions the protectionist nature of creatures. The tortoise appeared during Samundra month in Satya Yuga. Life moved from water to the land. Darwin suggests the second stage was when the fish finally evolved out of water, evolved to reptiles. The examples are tortoise. Then came terrestrial creatures. They were initially four-legged animals roaming on the earth. A wild boar, Vara, avatar reveals this stage of evolution. Theory of evolution says reptiles evolved into semi-amphibians and then into mammals and land animals in the Triassic period. The Vara avatar in Satyug signifies the birth of the mammal. This was followed by half animal, half humans. They were cruel, uncivilized and rough with human values. This is depicted in Rig Veda by the Narasimha avatar. Narasimha avatar has the upper body of a lion but lower body of a man which indicates a transformation from animal to human form. This directly relates to the idea of pre-human without a well-developed brain. Evolutionary theory suggests the transmission from animal to ape in the fourth stage of evolution. Begins that are half animal and half human. Then came human in their full form, initially as dwarf, and then as full-grown men. The dwarf, Vamana avatar, is depiction of this stage. Vamana avatar represents being that is very close to humans but is extremely short. It indicates the complete transition into human form and the beginning of intelligence in the human. The fifth stage, according to the evolutionary theory, is a transformation from ape to short, premature human beings. The change signified developed intelligence. Then came fully grown human. Humans were initially rock and resorted to violence on every creature. They did not have sophisticated weapons. This is represented in the form of Parshurama avatar. This was the era where there was no differentiation made between male, female or children. Everybody was just human. This represents the tribal mentality of human. This was the time before there were organized civilization. Warrior with an X from the Treta Yuga. This is the sixth avatar of Vishnu that has no animal characteristics and will and ox. So Pasurama in other words is a homo sapien. Evolutionary theory suggests the appearance of early human living in forest using weapons. Homo sapiens is the present day human and biological evolution ends at this stage. The human then learned values, ethics, beliefs, etc. Humans started living in communities, civilization, creating their own kingdoms, system of governance, and social hierarchies. Gradually, they represented heroism, leadership. Men started protecting women, who are typically physically weaker. With evolved practice of living habits formation, humans became less violent, more mature, calm, and respectful. Humans began having rituals and tradition. The human also started having relationship with other humans, that of a child, son, daughter, spouse, parent, sibling, a student, mentor, etc. This is explained in Rig Veda with the mention of Rama avatar, a king who ruled the kingdom of Ayodhya. Lord Rama represents the fact that human has not only evolved, 
but also his quality of living and mannerism have fully developed. Ramayana has also mention of Vanara, which are very close to human species, but are not completely human. Darwin states that humans started living in community and developed mannerism. Survival of the fetus began. The human then gets more materialistic, but with a firm ground in spirituality as well. Human begins to learn to be happy, love, and play around while also preaching other humans how to live right. Humans gradually start thinking evil. They give away to negative qualities like greed, frustration, anger, hatred, lust, and cunningness to hurt other humans in subtle manner. There is a misuse of power, politics, favoritism, etc. In an evolution of relationship between sexes, humans started having sexual and romantic relationship with more than one human of other sex. So this creates a competition among several humans for the love of one human. The competition is not always played out in a healthy manner. In Rig Veda, this is explained through the existence of Krishna avatar, a playful child brought up in the modest household who goes on to become a king of fledging kingdom. He then goes on to develop relationship with rulers of other kingdoms. He ultimately emerges as a mentor, a negotiator, and a protector of peace, positive values, and beliefs on art. Lord Krishna is the eighth avatar of flag bearer of cultivation, war, and philosophy. The theory of evolution coincides here with the human practicing animal husbandry and politically advanced societies. As human evolved, they started creating rules, culture, rituals, and practice for the positive and peaceful living. In short, they start creating their own religions for the other humans to follow. This also led to the evolution of the spiritual full life of human. Humans started thinking about the purpose of existence and objective in life. This capability of humans to create and follow their own religion has been depicted by Buddha avatar. It refers to a person who renounces all materialistic things in life to follow spiritual path. Finally, humans now have to learn to destroy what they created. This is mentioned in Rig Veda in the form of Kalki avatar. Kalki is predicted in the Puranas to be the tenth and last avatar of Vishnu, which will incarnate it at the peak of Kali Yuga or the last great age of earth. He would be here to restart the whole cycle. Species will be disappearing and the whole world will come to an end. The evolution of the world was from nothingness and end of it would be going back to that void of nothingness. However, in between, this aspect of being of nothingness, Lord Vishnu is said to have taken many forms to help in the evolution of the world and here is a brief description of his 10 avatars of which nine have already incarnated and the universe awaits the triumph birth of the Dasa avatar with a bated breath. The evolution many times proposes that whatever is created has to be destroyed to, the, to begin the process of creation all over again. And this very aptly fits into the theory of Dasa avatar. When we study mythology and the theory of evolution, the approach seems to be quite similar. Whether it is a mere coincidence or a fact gains mixed review. Darwin's theory of evolution states that we have evolved from a common source, primarily from water over millions of years from simple form slowly evolved into complex life form. Evolutionary theory, when viewed from a particle perspective, neatly intersects with the ten incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Thank you.